start this video off at the Fox Run Center, run over to Coles. Plenty of foxes in the area. Welcome to this week's Walk and Talk. As a recording of this Sunday, December 17th. When you're watching this, it's about a week away from Christmas. What will we see between now and Christmas, and after Christmas, more sales? Is Fast and Furious sold out? Get into that. Talk a little bit about CES. Run into Kohl's. I have Kohl's cash. Let's see what they have. And people out and about Christmas, so close. It's pretty cold, damp day in Wisconsin. And I wanted to use my Kohl's cash for that Golden Axe sale. We'll get into that at Best Buy in a little bit. Hoping they were gonna drop the price at Kohl's on Golden Axe, but no bueno. Still sitting at 549, so my Kohl's cash expires today. Gotta find something. Oh, look at this goodie. Can you feel the presence? And we are still finding arcade one-ups at Kohl's current price for the countercades. Now, I don't know about online, but you know, if you're fortunate enough to come across anything in the store, I do have this light. You know what, not, I do like the brand. This doesn't get like as blue because you know, they rotate colors. I wish it was a darker tone, but I just want to point that out. I just saw this sitting on top of, oh yeah, the My Arcade 200 plus games, 149.99 for both. The Ms. Pac-Man countercade, which out of all the countercades left, these are still here. Isn't that crazy? And the Pac-Man head-to-head. $10 Kohl's cash every 50 spent. $149.99. Sitting at $55 Kohl's cash. I do lose some of that today, and I wanted to use it for Golden Axe for $549. If they're running the same deal that Best Buy was running for $449, as tempting as this is, we may not see another Class 81 Ms. Pac-Man you put the 55 towards the 149.99, but you know, gotta be smart. We're talking Christmas, walking in here, still other shopping we have to do. It's still gonna cost you 100 bucks, so don't know if I want to use it towards this. Golden Axe would have been justifiable. It's too bad. I was kind of hoping if I wait till the 11th hour, I could have picked it up. Well, call it the luck of the draw. We picked a great time to stop at Best Buy at one of our favorite locations. Frank Castle himself, the Punisher, could actually be here shopping. And that Christmas tree at Best Buy, inside joke, is would have been cool if they would have just surrounded this with arcade one-ups. An overview of the store, and they have plenty of casino caves. You can see these here from a distance. Actually, that pole was kind of in the way. But Best Buy running some good deals right now. Not the best, but they're notable, and maybe if we just hold on long enough, we'll see something better. And that's pretty much been the trend the last couple of weeks, if not the last month and a half, that if we just wait a little bit, prices are sure coming down like Fast and Furious. Now it's sold out. I actually checked Amazon too. It's gone. So we might have seen the last of Fast and Furious. And something we've been getting accustomed to is the $3.99 sale for the deluxe cabinets. Looks like as of today, Sunday, the 17th, the sale will go back to the 499. So if they do go back to 499, you're still seeing 299 for Yoga Flame. They will drop to 399 again. It's, it's kind of, you know, this game that they're playing where it goes on sale, it goes full price, it goes on sale. People see that, they think this is it, time to buy. We've seen Casino Cade sitting at 599, 499 the best price. And it's going to come lower than that, along with X-Men sitting at $3.99. This is a good sale on Dragon Slayer for $4.99. How long would it be till they could go lower than $4.99? You take the $150 off the $6.49. Is it worth $4.99? Would you hold out for $3.99? I don't know if we're going to see $3.99 this year, but it is a tempting price, especially for that iconic look. Shack Jam, pretty much the steady pace of 599 to 521 but the cabinet that i'm watching is golden axe 449 i was hoping that coles was going to pick this up but you don't see that this is ending today so this sale is going on along with tron markdown 599 so a hundred dollars off golden axe a hundred dollars off tron still seems a little steep for tron you gotta wonder what happens after this if they go back to 699 or if they drop even lower than that and Killer Instinct, and we've all seen this price a lot lower than $5.99, so something to watch is Tron, Killer Instinct, and Golden Axe. Be interesting to see if these get any lower this year, 
or if you have to wait for 2024. And we'll run downstairs, take a look at what they have on the floor, if anything's changed since the last couple of days that we were here. Last time we were here, there were four casino cades still sitting strong at four. I don't think these are gonna move, even at $4.99. And talking with Jester Tester the other day, their you know, hopes are, you know, Christmas presents, people picking these up. Will we see this drop a lot lower after Christmas, you know, in January, February, this could be $3.99, dare I say $2.99 before you know it. The buttons aren't gonna light up on Pac-Man, neither is that molded coin door, but the exact height, the form factor is identical to the Class 81 and the Galaga Deluxe. And I gotta tell you, if you had a riser booster, how it's sitting on this shelf, it would be perfect for playing field. And this is something that I wanna add to my Galaga is putting this on a riser booster just to bring that height up a little bit because it is just a little low and we're still just seeing the 399 and remember that these prices will change after today but they'll come back down to 399 will we see a deluxe other than Street Fighter 2 HS5 for under 399 will we see more 299s now something I want to say about looking at the 599 price point on the Big Buck Hunter Pro and the Wheel of Fortune Casino Cake, both in this store. I said the other day that if they did Road Blasters, like you can make an argument that a racing game, a light gun game, sitting at $5.99 maybe should be like the starting point. I'm telling you what, I would pay $5.99 for a Road Blasters arcade one-up, even if that was the only game on there, just for that form factor. Like that's one of those games where it's totally worth it to me be a dream come true if they did announce Road Blasters so though. We actually got that in 2024. I mean, it can't be that impossible of a title, could it? But if that was the driving title, 2024. Over CES around the corner, there is a couple of things that seem pretty certain, pretty sure, that we're gonna get from Arcade 1UP. One thing that is confirmed is that Unico Nova Blast 19K box posting starting at $9.99. You know, having a real arcade is pricey, isn't it? Especially having to add your own games, but I know that the quality is there. I think people kind of hit this nail on the head when they said this is probably going to be $1,000, and it is. It is crazy what we can get now, 2023, close to 2024, compared to what we saw from Arcade went up. 2018 2019 buying real arcade machines from a home arcade company unico it is exciting and it's a pricey one but you're gonna pay you're gonna pay more for for something better aren't you you're gonna pay more for nostalgia and we are we are all paying more and that's why when all these deals come we take full advantage of it because how can you pass on a 299 cabinet or less. Stopping off for gas at Speedway, 325. Staring at this download our app today. Funny thing from Thumper Squid, had a joke of, you know, what if, not really a joke, but what if they actually had a punch card like we used to see, buy 10 cabinets, get one for free. Like what if every retailer did this? Wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, if you just think about Some it, like Walmart like had one, Best in. Buy, like Kohl's, Walmart. Target, even buying direct from Arcade 1UP, could you imagine getting a free Arcade 1UP every time you buy 10? It's actually not too bad of an idea though, is it? Walmart, get the punch cards. We'll buy a cabinet, we get a punch, 10th one's free. And the shoppers are out in force today at Walmart. NFL Blitz, the only cabinet showing up at this location. I think the last time we were here, there was a Pac-Man, and they're selling out at $2.99, so even though we're seeing $3.99 on Deluxe, $2.99 on cabinets like Yoga Flame, people still paying $2.99 for the Peasant Classic versions. What do you think about CES? The chances, pretty much confirmed, that we're gonna see Smash TV and Robotron I think we're going to see a couple XLs too. Just to name one, I'm going to say Mortal Kombat. If I name two, Street Fighter 2. Now from the original Ninja Turtles movie, Casey Jones, Raphael, remember when they met? It's a great render. Remember when he 
Strutter fell in, the, fell in the dump truck and he goes, whoops, and he hits that lever just out of the backside. I think that's a safe bet for Arcade 1UP. Give us 2XL right off the bat, 1 Deluxe, that Robotron, Smash TV, Total Carnage, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter 2, and then go from there. Be a good start for 2024, and it'd be really exciting news for them to announce at CES. New DC Multiverse showing up at Walmart, including Jim Gordon as Batman. Kind of like Batman Beyond there without the cape. It's like from the Batman Endgame storyline. So does that mean Commissioner Gordon knows Batman's true identity? Oh, and check it out. We did see some of these at GameStop a couple of nights ago. The Whirly Bat Superpowers Bat Helicopter. See that Batman all in black suit. Be cool if the new figure showed up here. It's been the same Deathstroke, Green Lantern, Nightwing. Haven't seen any new ones show up, but the vehicles, they keep updating them. We get the Batmobile, the Invisible Jet. I know it's around here somewhere. The Batwing. That Bat Helicopter. It was the Christmas 1985. I actually remember getting buzz off that year. You can get him again for 2023. I mean, how crazy is that if you think about it? Like, how long ago? It was 1985. I was putting together that arcade one up the other night, the Galaga, and just turning around that back side of the instruction manual, seeing the other three cabinets just reminds me of always looking on the back of these boxes. Collect them all. Here's all the figures. Here's all the arcades. You know, it just makes you feel like a kid again. Buzz off. New Aquaman. The Lost Kingdom figures. I'd like to give a shout, big shout out to Jason Momoa. I did see something over on this side over here. Some bigger figures. $8.97. You know, not a bad price. But here's a DC movie I'm really looking forward to see. Greeted with another casino cade at another location. Still sitting at that $5.99, but it is cool to see these showing up at other spots. Just saw NFL Blitz at Walmart, which, dare I say, could be the last NFL Blitz we do see at that location. It's the only arcade one up left there. Best Buy is still sitting strong with that $4.99 price. And of course the big buck hunter, but pretty cool to see these three cabinets the second you walk in. I want to talk about at games. Big announcement, which we all know, but the real big thing is we have all the skins. It's time to decide what to order. Keep an eye out for him. Might be a hefty price for this wanted guy. Young guns. So we have all the skins from at games, most recent attack from Mars pre-order now so we have a choice here between Adam's Family, Dinosaur Dynasty, Peanuts, Star Trek which is probably everyone's <laughs> everyone's favorite right and then Attack from Mars and you know it's time to decide I'm gonna have to make a decision before the 30th actually if I went with Attack from Mars per se even until the 22nd so that's if you want to get these by the end of March 2024, and that's the same for Adam's family. I do like Attack from Mars. I, you could make an argument for any of these pinballs. It's a legitimate point that any one of these, trying to get this light out of the way, would be a great pickup, a great purchase. The good thing is, is they play the same games. You ever wonder that because they're announcing Attack from Mars, the remaining arcade one-up pinballs will go, like go on clearance? Like you can maybe $3.99, $2.99. What are you gonna get? You're gonna go for a $2.99 Attack from Mars, or would you go $1,200, $1,300 on an at games? And right next to those deluxe cabinets, they do have a couple of those 18 and a half inch. Infinity game boards sitting at $4.99 and if you're interested in those Costco does have these on display And they're $50 off so you'll get a little bit of a discount and you can kind of mess around with one It is a display unit just like you're seeing with these deluxe cabinets 
We'll stop by Costco, see if there's any on, on display at this location, but I'm actually looking for another arcade one up there, see if there's any of these remaining. In all seriousness, though, definitely keep your eye out. This guy looks dangerous. There was a class of 81 that when we walked through the door, you know, the last four or five previous times we were here, kind of greeted us. It was gone. So, you know, people definitely taking advantage of those $3.99 sales. Again, Fast and Furious, no more. Time Crisis is still sitting at $5.99 on Amazon. Not saying it's going to go $3.99 just yet, but if it did, the Time Crisis is completely be gone too. Despite rumors on current prices, this is the last Pac-Man XL that I've come across. $500. They're saying, hey, this is it. Down from $5.99. So the $3.99, some people have actually seen this for $2.99 at this very location, $500. Bucks. This might be the last time at Costco we're going to see one of these. It's asking for trouble coming to Costco this time of year, afternoon on a Sunday. I mean, look at all the carts are gone. There are so many people inside of here trying to get a good shot of that Pac Man. It was challenging because you know, everyone's looking at everything. They're trying to, you know, go Christmas shopping on everybody. It was tough, but yeah, that was the last one. Didn't see a Star Wars pinball in there either. And no Infinity game boards at this location, but I imagine once they do sell that last Pac-Man, that'll probably be the next arcade one up showing up at this location. I want to give a shout out to Corner K. We did meet up for a little bit today at one of the Best Buys, and he did mention that his wife saw the deals going on at Costco for the $2.99. Actually, the sign's over here. I'm pointing at a red line. Somebody saw it on the arcade one up deals that a store did sell it. Had it listed for $2.99. We saw images for $3.99. I never saw anything that low other than like a store floor model. But in the box, 500 bucks. Will it last for 500? Will it come down? And some lucky shopper will head into Costco, I got it right that time, and pick that up. It's a good cabinet. And comparing it to the Galaga, you can't go wrong with either. You're going to get more with the XL, obviously, because of the screen size, the height, the marquee size. But it's the same games, the light up buttons, the light up coin doors. So it is a step up, step in the right direction. Hopefully the cabinets we see from CES the announcement, I mean, Robotron, Smash TV, it's a total lock. It's the XLs. Will they go? Will they show us the XLs right off the bat, like they did with the Deluxe a year ago? We saw the Mortal Kombat 2, Pac-Man, and Ms. Pac-Man, only to swap Ms. Pac-Man for Class of 81. Now Ms. Pac-Man, instead of the powder blue, comes out black. So not a lot of retailers have picked up Ms. Pac-Man. That's a cabinet that I'm watching because, you know, the Vault Special Edition cabs, there is an incentive to get those. Not just because of the certificate of authenticity, but the light-ups, the coin doors, the control panel, it's, it's, it's awesome. Let me know what you think, what you want from CES. And if you're interested in the 4K ALP pinball, you gotta make a decision fast. I wanna give a big shout out to Chaotic BPR. He just pre-ordered. Attack from Mars, that's a good one. And if you order it before the 22nd, you'll get that $100 off, you get it for $1,200, and you still get it by the end of March. I wanna thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. You know what, I just remember one thing. Brian, chaotic, I'm wearing your shirt, man. Quick bonus scene. I'm gonna stop in at McDonald's, it's been a while since we were here. And actually they have those adult Happy Meals here. You get the Big Mac or the chicken nuggets. I think I might actually do it. Collect them all. Gosh, everyone's saying it, aren't they? Which one would you get? The Big Mac or the chicken nuggets? And the recommended items is the Kerwin Frost Happy Meal Box. You got the Big Mac. And there should be an option here for the chicken nuggets. We'll, we'll, maybe you can change it here. You know what? I guess we're going Big Mac today. Heck, let's go with the large. Got the Kerwin Frost Big Box Big Mac Large Meal. Let's just call it the Happy Meal for Adults. A hamburger. 
Gonna get a Coke, 1573. Gonna dine inside 47. Okay, we got our 47, order 655. Must have been years. I guess it's gonna be a little longer than bonus coverage. It's years since I was here last. I mean, we're talking, could have been 10 years since I stepped foot through that door at this McDonald's. Used to come here a lot during work, driving the company vehicle around, picking up orders, delivering orders, stopping here for lunch or breakfast, depending on the day. Now we're here now to get a Big Mac adult Happy Meal. Kerwin Frost. Got the Dr. Pepper, a hamburger, the Big Mac, adult Happy Meal. Let's just get right to the action here. Let's see what Kerwin Frost Chicken McNugget, I, I want the city guy. If you look at him, I'm hoping I get him. Got it wrapped up like a cheeseburger. Yeah, the cheeseburger and the hamburger. We got Kerwin Frost. I guess he would have been my second pick. I mean, for a guy with uh, shoes like that, I mean, come on. I'm losing Kerwin. Here's his. Here's his feet. And his hat, there we go. We got Kerwin Frost. It's called Happy Meal. Never thought I'd be having a Happy Meal again. Not yet. 